Hi, this is Wayne. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a tutorial on my progressive sound. And it's going to sound like this. That's about it. It's a really wide sound and I think it's good to fill out some parts of the song where you think it's too simple. So that's why I made this synth to fill out the simple parts. So this was the combinator we heard the synth from and we're going to toy with this one and I've drawn different midis just to show how awesome this progressive synth is. So we're going to the rack and create a combinator. And I've automated the same things as the previous combinator up here, down here. And then in the combinator, we're going to create a line mixer. And after the line mixer, we're going to create a Thor and we're going to reset it or in the old reason, initialize it. And then we open the programmer and then we set this filter and filter the envelope to the half about 64. And the filter envelope down here, we're gonna set the decay to 552 milliseconds. And then the sustain we're going to put it to minus 14.8 decibels. We're going to leave the release and the attack. And over the amp and uh, envelope, we're going to take the decay to the same, 552. The sustain to minus, minus 5.2 decibels and we release to 600 milliseconds and that's about it for the synth now we're gonna add some polyphony just unlimited do as you want it has to be above five I think just to uh, use more advanced MIDI notes and chords and all that and I'm gonna leave the oscillator saw and then for the saw we're gonna create a M class equalizer Put the high shelf on, turn the gain to 2.9 decibels, and then we're gonna add a compressor to compress the sound so we go, uh, don't get a noisy sound and a high, they're gonna scratch our ears. And then we're gonna create a RV7000 advanced reverb, and we're gonna go into the browser, use vocal booth. I use it a lot because it gets this effect of being in a telephone box and speaking in there and get the really really tiny amount of reverb which is quite nice you also get it when you're singing in the shower so I'm gonna put the dry wet down to 8 to get just a decent amount for the synth because we want this synth to be really clean and that's it actually guys and then we're going to mark all those devices, these four, and we're going to copy it three times. When you've done that, you're going to turn on the rack, and then we're going to put Dewey's audio output to the line mixer. And when you've done that, we're going to turn it back and put the pan for the first and all the right down and the other one all the way up then we have a really wide synth 
and two that's about it actually and then you're gonna create a compressor and hold shift when you do this because when you turn it around you can see it isn't connected to anything then we're going to put the master out to the audio output in the compressor and put the audio input from the master out I mix and then we're going to create a bv 512 digital vocoder we're going to set it to equalizer to four band oh shit my bad and then we're going to put the shift up to 16 and that's about it guys well to make this sound more like a funky and white synth we can do in the other two patches we created in the thors we can detune these since a little three or four and the other one minus three or four and then we got a white synth that's about it actually and for the automation part, I've set the first uh, first rotary to the Thor's filter frequency in the uh, filter one, and we can do it for everyone actually. That's the fun part. It takes a lot of time. And the second part we are going to do is toying with the release of this synth to then we can make a long release or have no release on it just to when you're playing a lot of course on each other the release will mess up the synth so on rotor here i have the end and envelope on release we're gonna do it for everyone so funny i know And when you've done that, almost done. And the last thing we actually need is a reverb. Every synth or drums, whatever you use, needs reverb in the song. So I'm going to create a simple RB7 digital reverb. Put the drive weight all the way down. And or I can just go into the show programmer and put the rotary tool to drive weight which I also did on the previous combinator. Now let's give the sound we created a listen. Well I'll mute this, mute this one, and here we go. As I can hear, I made a little mistake. Well, let's go back to the rack. Into the rack, we're actually going to turn down the master level to 90. Put the input gain a little down to minus 1 decibel. Oh, minus 1.1. That's fine. Because I noticed this synth was too loud, but now it's fine, I guess. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching and enjoy using Reason 6.5 or whatever reason. This patch can be used and created by Reason 4 and up. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching.